in this video now we're going to make a very simple mouse so I'm going to go ahead and open part and I'm going to open the midpoint line and I'll do that in the right plane and I'm going to set that to about 120 that's what most mice the length of them are that's 120 hit sketch and then I'm going to put another sketch If you click on the end of the, on the spline, these drag handles come up, so you can manipulate them. So I'm going to set that one to vertical. I can select the two endpoints down there. I can hit merge. Sometimes Pierce comes up, sometimes coincidence. Okay. Into surfaces, I'll make a plane or a surface out of that. Then we look down on the top plane. I'm going to sketch, spline, and there's two points, one, that one's up in the air a bit, this one's down the ground, select that one, and if you zoom in, I'm going to select that to horizontal, so this will be handy later on when we're uh, mirroring over from the left to the right hand side now you can then pick up any of them points and you can play around with them to get the kind of shape you're looking for ok so we'll say we're happy with that now we need to close that sketch so I'm going to draw a line between the two end points then I'm going to go back to surfaces make a planar surface again from that so now we've got um, a side profile and a top profile. So next thing we're going to do is draw a 3D sketch. So I'm going to sketch, 3D, spline. And I'm going to pick this point out here this time. I'm just going to leave it down around there roughly. So that is that spline there. Now if I click on these, you can manipulate the drag handles as I said earlier. This time though, for this 3D one, I want it to run along the x-axis. So it'll give a nice smooth transition when we're mirroring over. Now so that's one sketch there. I'm going to do another sketch now, I'm going to insert a plane. And I'm going to select front plane there. I want to put it back a bit so I'm going to flip the offside and I'm going to draw it roughly around there, yeah, happy with that. I'm going to hit spline and I'm going to select a line point from down there from the bottom to point up here. I'm going to hold down control, select the end point, select the spline, and hit pierce. And I'm going to do the same down the bottom then. Hit pierce again. <coughs> now if you click on this, I'm going to manipulate these a bit. Just to give a bit of curvature to uh, mimic the profile of the side of a mouse. Okay. You're okay. And I'm going to hide that now. Playing. Now, so we're going to surface this time, we're going to do a loft. So I'm going to select this edge here, this edge over here. Now you can see that wouldn't be right. So use the guide curves here for the loft, which will be here, the outer edge, and the 3D sketch we made earlier on. Okay. Hit OK. Now, that's looking pretty good so far. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to add in another sketch because I want to try and start now to make the the top surface of the mouse. So hit features, reference geometry, plane. And I'll use plane one as a reference. And I'll just bring it in a bit there. So we'll say we'll say we're happy there with that. Now very handy thing here in sketch is intersection curve. So if I want to make a sketch on that to mimic that curve exactly. 
I can hit here, which I have in my customized toolbar, or if I go into sketch, I get it here. So I want the sketch on this surface, and I'm going to use this plane to help me make it. If I hit OK, there a perfectly aligned sketch comes in on that. So I'll close that. Turn off. I leave that plane there. Now this sketch also I'm going to turn into construction. This is just a, a guide for me for later on. I'm going to do another sketch now on this plane. So I look in 90 degrees. Pick up my sketch tool. It's in 3D sketch. I don't want that. So now a simple 2D sketch. Again, hold down control, select the two endpoints, and make them coincidence. At the top, hold down control, select the edge, hit pierce. Now, that line there, I want to add in a relationship to it with this line, the construction line here. So this time I'm going to go for equal curvature. Tangent is also good, but um, they say that this makes a more seamless uh, surface from one to another. So there it is now, like that now. And hit this guy as well. I'm going to make that guy horizontal. Hit OK. Escape. Now I'm going to turn off that plane. I don't need it anymore. Now the next thing we're going to do is go into surfaces and we're going to hit a boundary surface. Now they say boundary end field is also good for closing surfaces. Boundary is better for a four-sided surface. Fill they recommend for a three-sided. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to select this edge down here. Now that doesn't look right. Something I'm going to use now in a minute is my 3D sketch from earlier on. So I'm just going to highlight that again. So there it is. Now direction two is like guide curves. So if I select this edge over here, it still doesn't look right. Sorry, I selected him in the wrong box. Select this edge over here. And then I'm going to select the 3D sketch down there. Now it has made it nice. Okay, it's made it almost perfect. So one other thing we're going to do there now is I'm going to add in this thing. They say this helps with the transition as well between left to right direction vector. A warning signs coming up there tells me it needs a reference, so I'm going to use this plane. So I can go at uh, 90 degrees to that. Hit OK. Now one other thing there I could have done with that was I could add in another relationship here for the 3D sketch and curvature. Now, sometimes this works lovely, and now it's not working. And I think the reason it's not working there is because it may be too wide. Okay, so I'll just leave it as it is, anyways. I'm happy. I'm happy. I think it looks very good at that. Now, the next thing we're going to do there then is I need to close this. So I'm going to use something in a moment called fill surface. But before I do that, um, I need, so I can select the edges properly, I need to make this all one kind of surface. So I'm going to hit knit surface up here. So I'm going to select that, 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 and that. And I'm going to tell them to knit. Okay. The next thing we're going to do there now is fill surface. So I select this my first edge, my second edge, and my edge down here. And that will close in the gap there. You can also, if you want to, sometimes add in, um, if I had a curvature going on there between them two, which I don't in this example, you could add that in uh, here. Okay. I'm just going to leave that as it is for the moment. Now that is the side of that closed. Now before, that thing is hollow, even though the surface is all around it. So the next thing, I'm going to knit that again. So I'm going to hit this guy and this guy. Now this time you can select something here, it's not gray, gray, grayed out because it's an enclosed surface. It's try to form solid and merge into this. So hit that. So that is now one solid piece. Okay. So then what we can do is we can hit features, mirror, and use this face of the mirror. Now if you try and select this it won't work because it's, it's on features. It's a body that's there and you'll see solid bodies up here in your design tree as well. So we can have solid bodies. Select this, and then select that. And that will have mirrored it over perfectly from left to right. So 
So that's the very basic mouse there. In the next one video, I'm going to show you how you can add uh, like a skin surface to this, and then you can manipulate that, like this, for to show the buttons or uh, deep lines that are in it. Now, if you're worried about, you can turn off the sketches, of course, here. Um, and if you're worried about black lines, don't be worrying about them because they're perfectly acceptable. But you can also turn them off this way, so you can get a perfectly smooth mouse. Okay, okay, that's the the first video on a simple mouse.